test, 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 testy testes. I've got massive smelly testes. Can I just see that? I can't quite. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, it's working. Bum, bum, bum. The new single from the Venga Boys. Right. Microphone check. Mm, I'm not quite sure. I don't think it's going to work. Well, let's see. Is it um, nostalgic seeing these old garages? And I've been in this house 12 years. Uh, it's time for a change. I'm going to sell it. That's not obviously why you came to this video, but anyway. Yeah, it's time for a change. Oh, we've got a Chinese car in front. Watch out. Might get hit by bits falling off it. No, I'm sure they're perfectly adequate. Anyway, yeah, why are you here? I don't even know if this video will make it up onto the internet. I'm testing a new microphone, which is a DJI microphone, a, a lavalier mic. And I'm not sure if it's going to be too overpowered. I don't know. But I hope it's going to be perfect, because I bought two of them and they were 30 quid each. This is all in preparation for a trip I want to do, which is like a permission to talk video, the sequel. And this time I want to aim for Morocco and I want to ride to Africa. Uh, so I'm gonna, yeah, so I just bought a load of crap because um, I think I'm gonna make something beautiful. I mean, I do want to make something beautiful. I, I'm, I, I'm going back and forth on what it is I actually want to do. And, um, and also, just as a side note on this whole thing, excuse me if I'm really <laughs> all over the place, but I decided to come off my meds Citalopram, which I've been on for about three years, and then at various stages through my life before that, and I don't think you should be on it for three years. I was just living in a daydream. It was pretty awful. However, now I am much more visceral, much more awake, much more inspired, much more motivated. But I have this... I, I don't know how else to describe it apart from like a, a lightning brain where I just get triggered all the time like with ideas, with great stuff, with bad stuff. I'm just all over the place. So please just forgive me if it's unfollowable, if that's a word. Also, my confidence in riding a motorcycle has decreased massively since I came off the medication. But then it has been pretty shit weather recently, so maybe that's something to do with it if you've got horrible shitty roads and you're just a bit like, ooh. But I don't think I could do a, a track day at speed at the moment. Anyway, that's beside the point. I want to go to Morocco and actually do some pretty some, some adventurous riding so I'll be through the Atlas Mountains and then hopefully some semi off-road not not ridiculous off-road but just a bit of adventure uh, and then go to Marrakesh maybe like do a loop round and I want to make it beautiful I want to film something that I'm really proud of and that inspires other people to go out and <laughs> make the same mistakes that I make because I think I've got it in me. I can make beautiful stuff. It's not just stupid dickery. And I kind of, I just feel like I need to get it out of me. Get it out. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. So yeah, I want to um, go and do something, go and challenge myself a little bit, get out of Europe perhaps. And this might be a first sort of taster of things to come. I, the ultimate goal of this is to get to South America. That's my dream, is to ride all the way through South America. But I'm, I'm way too green for that. I'm way too, too noob. So I need to do something like a little semi-step along the way. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Yeah. Uh, so, yes. So Morocco... I don't know the route I'm going to take yet. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided any of it yet, but I just, all I know is I want to go and do something. So I'm not going to sit around waiting to do it. I'm just going to go and do it. However, this bike is, oh, this has probably changed colour since you saw it, actually. It, I used to have the black one. Um, that's a story we'll get onto in a minute. 
But the reason I'm I'm on it now, riding towards Guildford, towards Vines BMW Motorrad, is because they just bought all of the X off-road skills bikes from 2023. So they have about 20 standard. Oh, you! F you can get off your phone, mate, if you want. They have um, all the 2023 standard GSs, G well, GS trophies and they are an exceptionally good price and they've already been somewhat battered so if I am gonna mix it up in Morocco sounds like a song then it would be quite nice to not ruin an immaculate brand new GS adventure so I'm gonna go and have a look at one and see See if it's worth it. See if the if the finances work out. I don't know what I'd get for this trade in. It's only got it hasn't even got three thousand miles on it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. So I'm just sort of looking at options. Maybe I could get one that's already been dropped and damaged at a good price. And then and also if I'm in the middle of Morocco, I don't really want to be caring like oh oh my bike's got a little luggage scratch on it. Oh. I just want to be relaxed about at least <laughs> at least the scratched condition of the bike. Whereas I think I'll have a lot more to uh, to get stressed about than just yeah how many chafings my fairings got. I don't know how much I'd get traded for this, so I, I don't know if it's worth swapping it. I don't know, but these are the things that I'm going to the dealership to find out. So so there. So as I'm sat here, I may as well try to explain a little bit of why this bike is no longer black. So that Permission to Talk series, believe it or not, that was filmed almost two years ago. Can you believe it? Anyway, it was. And um, that bike, as much as I loved it, it had that annoying little tap, 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 tap noise. Anyway, after I'm not going to go into the details because it, it's just boring and incendiary. Is that the word? Inflammatory. Like a boil. But basically, it went back and forth with BMW. I wasn't happy that the bike was making the noise. Blah, blah, blah. And we, eventually, we agreed a trade-in. Blah, 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 blah. And then uh, I went to Vines BMW to buy this one with the money I got from that one, in its essence. So that's, that's where we're at. That's why I've got this bike. And actually, I prefer the white bike. And the, the lessons I've learned from when I did that tour in Bosnia and stuff, and it was like 45 degrees. It was so hot, but now I just want light gear um, and light bikes and light luggage coloured. So yeah, and then probably my plan is when when I've done these trips on this bike, I will sell it and get the new 1300, which might be called a 1400 adventure. And that's that's the story of this bike. I haven't really done anything with it. I haven't really ridden it anywhere. I've rode it to Amsterdam to um, to run it in. And then apart from that, it's just been the odd trip here and there around the UK. I, I, I haven't been abroad with it. I haven't had much time with it really, but anyway, that needs to change. So that's this bike. I will always have a GS in the garage, even if it's an old 2014 water-cooled Adventure 1200, which is probably the best one. The other bikes I am probably going to sell. I think I'm going to sell all of them, and that's not in a, like a huff. Ugh. I just, I just need to change so much stuff, um, and I need to move house. And I've been, as I said at the beginning, I've been in that house far too long. It's got too many memories. I was married. I have my son in that house. I didn't obviously pass him myself. It, the, just the memories of the marriage, the kids, various girlfriends over the years, and it's just time. It's just time to go. So rather than having all this money tied up in motorbikes, not really doing anything anymore, I'm going to sell them. Now before I sell them, I'm going to do, try and do a video on each one, even if it's a silly sort of insignificant one. I think the bikes, they're all pretty cool bikes and they all deserve a little bit of a storytelling time. So that'll be the content plan over this year, generally. So there's going to be a, a video or maybe two or three if bikes need a bit of work here and there uh, on those gearing up to get rid of them and clear out the fleet. But I will 
keep a bike like this, whether it's a GS or whatever, interspersed with the touring stuff. So that's that's how this year looks. Oh, welcome to 2024, by the way. Uh, that's how this year looks for content on this BVG channel. I want to do more podcasts as well. I really enjoyed doing that one. In fact, I'm going to put that up, the Nevesy one. It's really good. It's not, it, it, like, I've obviously got lots to learn about podcasting and all that sort of stuff, but I really enjoyed it. And as you can probably tell, I can talk shit for hours, days. So that's good. Right, well, uh, we're almost at Vines. Vines, Vines BMW. Come down to Vines BMW Motorrad Guildford. So we'll go and check out this non-adventure R1250 GS Trophy. I never liked the non-adventure one. I thought it was too skinny um, and too executive. But what I'm planning, if I do buy it, is to put a load of adventure bars on it, a load of kit, and do a series getting it ready to go to Morocco. If I don't do it with that bike, I'll do it with this one. Ugh, badger. Oh, poor little bugger. I might have to get one of those stop flapping bloody windscreens. I hate the way this windscreen flops around. The new one, that's, the, that's the, the main benefit of the new 1300 bike. The windscreen's really good. I know this probably doesn't help, but I need it because I'm lanky. I feel like my heart is on fire. and I've got to learn to understand that it's excitement, not fear. And, or anxiety. I think the two are really close emotions. You can get confused. Anyway. Oh, and I bought an Insta360 as well, which I've been testing. Uh, so that's going to sit there, so I can have a shot at me, forward. I can cut away from the speedometer if I'm doing naughty speeds. So we're all good. And I bought a really nice camera as well, a uh, Panasonic S5 Mark II, and it is delicious. So this trip to Morocco, I want to make it beautiful, engaging, textural, emotive and inspirational but not for like super adventure people for normal people like real people who have got two weeks to spare at most rather than hey i'm gonna go on an adventure around the world because i've got nothing else to do might even be a week i don't know let's see i don't i don't know how long it's going to take right see ya bye may as well record in case something happens who knows Nice suitcase, bruv. 45 quid, bargain. Oh, it's one of the worst sets of traffic lights in the world. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure there's some in Lombok, which are way worse. That sounds like a sofa design from Ikea. The Velvet Lombok. What are we waiting for? Nothing. So yeah, what, I guess while we're waiting, what, should, what do I need to buy? I don't know. I've, I've no, I, I hate off-road. It's shit. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know why I'm going to Morocco to ride off-road. Maybe to improve my skills. But I, I do. I really do want to spend one night out in the under the stars, like sleeping in a tent. And I know it gets so cold at night. So I've got to time the weather and the season really well. I think April, by all accounts, is a good time to go. It's warm. And, but it's not too hot uh, in the daytime. I s uh, no, it wasn't that one. I saw a Lotus just like that we just passed earlier today on the dual carriage. We had a little race with him in the X5, and um, he had <laughs> how do you describe him? Like Alan Partridge. What are those gloves that are like stitched on the back? There's like a name for them, um, like stitched driving gloves with Lotus written on. And I, I mean, up until that point, I thought that's actually a really cool car. He must be a really cool guy. And then I saw his gloves. Well, here we are then. Anyone fancy a car? Quite like a new car as well. Oh, look at that, ZX-10. Is it a ZX-10? Yeah. Let's go in. Let's go and spend some money. Or try not to. But they still got that M yellow M1000. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. It's not like the old Phoenix yellow they used to call it, I think. Anyway, very nice. Well, it's been a while since a, uh, 
a filtering video has been put up, isn't it? I don't know if I can do it anymore. You do get rusty, I'll tell you that. A rusty trombone. So what's the verdict? They're going to look as in of the off-road skills smashed up GS. It looks great, actually. It looks fine. As you'd expect, it's got marks, dents, scuffs, all over it, really. It, I guess it just comes down to a, a matter of how much I can get that for versus how much I can get for this. The only other thing is that this bike, being the Adventure, has taller, longer travel suspension, and that one that I was looking at doesn't. So it is quite low. To be honest, my gut says don't buy it, stay with this and just use this. So I don't think the differential in price between keeping this and taking the hit on... You should never buy a new vehicle and sell it within a year, unless it's like a super special waiting list job and you've you've uh, flipped it. It's, it's the most, it's the, such a stupid thing to do. I'm going to lose a load of money if I trade this in, so I may as well just use it, use the shit out of it. And if I dent and smash this up a bit, it's going to be no worse condition than the one I was potentially going to swap it for that's all already dented and bust up. I think just keep this. I love this bike anyway. Bloody, bloody, bloody love it. And then I've got to have, I would also on the new one have to buy the rails so I can fit my luggage on it and all that crap. So I, I don't think it's worth it stay with this so uh, yeah all in all a pretty bloody pointless video <laughs> anyway see you on the next one <laughs> bye